And I'm back with more Legend of Mana. This time, Elle and I are going to... The Oaken Mines. Because we're going to open up a final workshop. And hopefully, this will give us the... Stats and items we need to build a golem so that we can do the thing that we need to do later. But first, I lost my trusty hammer and I can't do work. If you see it anywhere, Booth can get back to me. Thanks, pal. If you just see me hammer back, I'll teach you how to blacksmith. I don't know can what I do, but I kick the ass of anyone who stole my hammer. So I know where to go to get the hammer, it just it depends on which direction it is. Hmm. Eh. Oh. <laughs> Whoops. Hey, he's just sitting there. Okay. <laughs> Bye. No, it's not that way. A what? A spring ball. Oh, Odd meat. Ew. The ball was made of meat? Ew. What's a fairy doing here? The light is within the darkness. Uh, okay. Well, I'll take the treasures, I guess. I don't know. Sulfur? No. What oh, smells? And moss, it probably smells worse. Damn. You're gonna have to fight that guy every time you walk through here. It's really stupid. I mean, it's practically free experience, but it's stupid. Wow. Phone. I'm trying to record. A dragon bone. Okay. This ain't good. Somebody's coming. Don't worry. Everything's going to. What are you doing? Dr. Holy Mutt ain't a threat to us. Let's go! Uh, I was just here for the hammer? Uh, okay. <laughs> Did I hear his grace's buddy cry for help? Dub! So the penguins are after his graciousness? Dub! Don't pay for this! I'm not doing this fucking... You! You're responsible for this too! Go find him! I'm here for the hammer. <laughs> I'm here for the hammer, not for you. Uh, 
Oh, no. rotted meat. No. No. Great job putting magic in a wall. Okay. There we go. All we gotta do is go back and give him the hammer. I am in no mood to be doing this stupid... Those penguins have their own problems. So the penguins are, are feuding with the dud bears over treasure. Okay. It's not my business. But that's another one of those little side stories that the game is doing. Not in the mood. Again, this is not a 100% playthrough. This is me just having some fun until I want to play Yakuza. I want to experience the game, not worry a ton about what I'm not or not doing. Shit. Animal meat, okay. Let's go. Dang it. Get out of the way. Stupid bear. Mole. Thing. Mole. You're not Monty Mole, you're not cool. Fuck, that's my hammer! Give it back! Youngsters these days think they can do anything they can! Yeah. Uh, uh, there's no what I meant! <laughs> I forgot I asked you to bring it back! F forget what I said! Please don't hate me! <laughs> it's my hammer. <laughs> it's like I'm half Irish, half Russian with that voice. I don't know what I'm going for. I mean, I just played Dragon Quest XI. I have a perfectly good Scrooge McDuck voice. I, I said McDuck. I don't think I said the other word. Um, Scrooge McDuck voice in uh, Rab. You would think I'd just, just follow that, but I'm not good with accents. I'm not good with keeping them, that's the problem. This is goodbye. And we probably won't see Ellie for a while, because after this point we're probably going to be focusing on the main story arc. Which is unfortunate. But hey. Hammer! Hammer, 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 hammer. Watts lost his hammer, but my master found it for him. Doesn't it feel good to do good things? Be nice if my master could read me a story once in a while, please. Maybe someday. Yeah. Ah! Look. I finished making the smithy you asked for. Well, the youngsters these days don't care to the meaning of gratitude. But you never asked me for. God, why did I? Oh, now I get it. <laughs> I got so caught up in bidding it, I forgot to thank you for something. Forget what I said, don't hate me. Have a heart. I'll teach you how to make weapons, does that sound? Right, come on in. Buck, 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 buck. Right, that's it. You've got it. It's all in the hammer. The perfect strike makes the perfect sound. It's all in the hammer. Do it a million times, you call yourself a craftsman. It's the same for both weapons and armor. You choose the materials, then you bash them. However, the basic power depends on the materials, not your hammer skill. 
You need to work on your hammer skills. One more strikes. One million strikes. To make alterations, please choose the item. You might affect the ability, bonuses, and element levels. Depending on the mystic powers that contain with God, my accent is going nowhere. That all depends on the item. Not your blacksmithing skill. You need to work on your strikes. One million strikes. The effect of the materials is really quite simple. You can tell what's changed by looking at the materials and statistics for forging. It'll come naturally when you make a few pieces. You can't change the material properties with a hammer, I'm afraid. One million strikes! I'm gonna let you quit. I'm gonna stay and make you train to make a weapon. That's the spirit! Do I have to ask every fucking qu question? Alright. Making alterations to something will change the statistics, depending on the item you use. You might increase the attack power, but change the elemental as- God, I'm, I'm going all over the place. I'm doing Scottish, Russian, and French all at the same fucking time. I cannot do it. I cannot do an accent to save my life, God damn it! One million strikes! I thought I can't say. One million strikes! We changes occur through altering. Mystic powers are embodiments of those changes. When the energies of those build up, it'll start showing in the final product. Only that will affect the pieces of abilities and statistics, but nothing will happen if you just hit it with your hammer. Good job! I was lying about the million strikes part, by the way. When I was a wee lad, that's just what me master told me. Now you'll be able to make any kind of weapon and armor you like. But you need materials. Says your start note. Here you go. Well, I'll be going then. Huh? Did they give you materials? Oh, <laughs> Says you're starting out, I'll give you this. You'll never know. Uh, okay. Cool. <laughs> All right, then. <laughs> I'm confused. But hey, next time I record, which will actually be in a couple of in in real weeks, because I'm going on a convention next week, um, I will focus on the main storyline. We've been doing a lot of putzing around and fun junk, but now it's time to get serious. Weapons finished. And good, because that accent wasn't going anywhere. It was going all over the place. I could feel it when I was saying it. It ended, I guess it ended up becoming its own voice, but it never stayed the same. I'm, uh, I'm so confused. That's why I'm not good at these sorts of things. But hey, I'm gonna take some, I'm gonna take some voice and acting lessons from some actual actors at the convention. So who knows? Maybe I'll learn a thing. There's a new room in the backyard workshop. It's for making weapons and armor that my master to use to make some more stuff to mash the little monsters. That, that's not nice. We should all be friends. Well, you tell that to them. They're the ones stabbing me. But yes. From here on out, we should be able to do everything in the main story arcs. So what we're going to do is focus on the fairy arc. Which will involve Gato Grottos. Alkin mines to a small extent, but mostly the forest. So the Gato, Grottos, and the forest, mostly. The second one we'll focus on will be Lark and his uh, Master Draconis, so he will take us to different places, and we'll just beat up some dragons. And that's what we need the golem or an egg for. We need a third character for a certain thing. And then finally, once we're done with all of those, we're going to do the Jumi arc which we started with Elazul and Pearl and Sandra. We needed to open all of these areas, at least a majority of them, so we don't have anything lingering in our, in our way. There's a good chunk of other things we could do in the game, so there's a lot of side content and stuff, and we've shown off a fair... I've shown off a fair bit of it, but we're going to focus on all of those. Like I said, we only need to do one to open up the mana tree itself and end the game. 
but I think it's important that I do all three story arcs and then finish the game. So we'll do that next time. Thanks so very much for watching.